As recent global conflicts have made anti-tank weapons more crucial than ever, two systems appear to be on everyone's lips. The US Javelin and the British-Swedish N-Law. Like the Javelin, the N-Law is a robust and reliable anti-tank solution. Still, contrary to popular belief, it is not a competitor to the American system, as it serves a specific purpose of its own, has a different medium-range guidance system, and costs a mere fraction of the American one. As an operator targets an enemy tank using the N-Law, the moving target is tracked for a couple of seconds, and the N-Law software then inputs the operator's movements. Once the missile is fired, the system uses the manual tracking data to project where the target will be, positioning the warhead right on top of the armored vehicle. Then, once in position, a proximity fuse detonates the warhead, which is ranged as a shaped charge directing the full might of the blast towards the weakest part of the armored vehicle. Affordable Reliability As armored vehicles have significantly evolved, they have become increasingly resilient to conventional anti-tank weapons. Most modern tanks, for instance, have 500mm frontal armor, making them immune to most shoulder-fired missiles. To successfully disable these fortified behemoths, the projectile should strike the top of the tank, where the armor is the lightest. But this is easier said than done when using an unguided system that is not able to correct its course mid-flight. Conventional, unguided, shoulder-fired missiles work best when the target is stationary and relatively close to the weapon's operator. However, this also exposes the operator to an attack while aiming and firing the system. If the tank is moving, it is highly unlikely that the operator will strike the target, let alone hit it on its weakest armor section. This is where the Javelin comes in. With such technology, the operator can lock in the target from a long distance, fire, and take cover while the smart missile does the rest. The projectile then automatically corrects its course according to the target's infrared signals and adjusts its trajectory to strike it from the top, delivering the most significant amount of damage possible. The downside of a state-of-the-art anti-tank system like the Javelin is that a single unit can cost up to a quarter of a million dollars, which, compared to the $4,000 of an unguided system, is an astronomical difference. Nevertheless, the N-Law seeks to narrow that gap by providing a guided solution at a fraction of the price. Joining Forces The development of a modern Swedish light anti-tank guided missile started in the 1990s and was headed by the Swedish Armed Forces, whose mechanized infantry was severely deficient in both tanks and anti-tank weapons. The plan initially called for a simple and cost-effective system. However, after some strategic feedback, the project's objective evolved into producing a man-portable anti-tank weapon with formidable efficacy at short to mid-range. In October of 1999, the British military awarded Saab Bofors Dynamics with the product definition order to develop an anti-tank weapon prototype in what was dubbed the British N-Law program. The prototype needed to achieve several particular goals, including hitting a moving target at 1,300 feet and a stationary target at over 2,000 feet. The project grew at breakneck speed after being chosen by the British and Swedish defense authorities in 2003, as it was believed to meet the requirements of both nations. As such, the launcher and projectile were built by the Saab Bofors Dynamics Corporation in Eskilstuna and Karlskoga, Sweden, using technology developed from earlier Bofors systems, such as the RBS 56B Bill II and AT4CS. The United Kingdom and Sweden shared the development costs, and mass production soon began, with deployment projected by 2006. But despite the quick progress, the production was delayed until 2008, after some prototypes were found lacking in specific British and Swedish requirements. Operation 
The Enlaw was designed to use a single shaped charge warhead, in contrast to similar missiles with a tandem warhead configuration. And despite drastically growing in complexity and capabilities, it was deployed as an affordable guided missile system. Like other guided fire and forget anti tank systems, the Enlaw is able to remove much of the inaccuracy and danger of other anti tank systems. But in contrast to conventional shoulder mounted missiles, the Enlaw's projectile is independently propelled, which means it has a much longer range and it doesn't lose speed as it reaches its target. The missile's independent propulsion also allows the projectile to travel in curved trajectories and reach targets behind terrain obstacles and cover. However, it does not have an active guidance system like the Javelin that corrects its course mid-flight by detecting the target's infrared signatures. Instead, it calculates the approximate future location of a moving tank and travels to that position, and not to where the tank is when the missile leaves its tube. Moreover, Enlaw is designed so that the operators can select the distance at which the weapon arms itself. As Lars Urien Hofbrandt, Saab's technical sales support manager for ground combat, puts it, quote, Say you're in complex terrain, where a number of vehicles have been hit, and you have a burning vehicle 50 meters in front of you, and the true target is 150 meters away. You just switch over the arm distance to 100 meters. The missile will fly blind over the first target, and then start looking for the target. Attack The Enlaw's guidance system might seem rudimentary when compared to other methods. Still, it is highly effective as a medium-range attack. As the operators use the visor to target a vehicle, they then manually track the vehicle's movement by moving the system and keeping it in their sights. Meanwhile, the onboard computer records the tracking information from the operator and uses it to calculate the possible speed and direction of the enemy vehicle. When the missile is fired and its independent propulsion system deploys, the projectile moves toward the position where the data indicates the vehicle will be if it keeps its current speed and direction. Moreover, the missile is programmed to fly approximately one meter above the target, and as it reaches the vehicle, its proximity fuse and magnetic sensors are triggered, detonating the warhead and channeling the blast towards the top section of the tank. Although the entire guidance system can be fooled, if the armored vehicle decides to suddenly change directions or completely halts, the speed and fire and forget nature of the weapon deems this scenario highly unlikely, as the tank crew would have mere seconds to react. That is one of the reasons why the Enlaw is most effective at close and medium ranges, because it is much more difficult to predict the movement of a vehicle at long distances, and the tank's crew also has much more time to react to an incoming attack. Ideal use. With a cost of approximately $25,000, the Enlaw is 10 times cheaper than the American Javelin. For this reason alone, the Enlaw makes a formidable option, especially in urban warfare scenarios where close and mid range engagements are most common. Recently, the United States, Britain, and their allies have learned to use the systems in a complementary fashion making use of both solutions according to their specific needs. Moreover, as the conflict in Eastern Europe continues to escalate and resources dwindle on the battlefront, the Enlaw will become a crucial component of the mighty Javelin as a defensive anti-tank system, and the cheap but highly effective Enlaw anti-tank system might be the weapon that can make the difference in the long run when other solutions begin to deplete. Only time will tell if the British and Swedish shoulder-mounted tank destroyers will be able to keep the enemy tanks at bay. Thank you for watching my video. Don't hesitate to click on the screen and delve into some of our other Dark Documentaries channels, where you'll find more incredible stories featuring groundbreaking military technology and the daring soldiers that used it to change the world and hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. Stay tuned.